We'll go back to the source garage. So the rock chip and paint touch up has just been finished. Uh, let the last bit of clear dry overnight. Uh, so after I'm done talking here, I'll have a little video on the paint touch up I did and uh, fix one big spot right here on the other side of the car uh, that I think came out pretty well. But as far as rock chips and paint touch up, there wasn't a whole lot to do. There was some little spots here and there, but really it wasn't anything um, too severe as that I would think the Cadillac I did before had a lot worse paint on it. This has been pretty good. Um, so nothing too extreme there, so I'm not gonna make a whole separate video on that. So today, like I said, doing the compounding and polishing. So first thing I gotta do is wipe down the whole car. I got some optimum paint prep here. And once I wipe down the whole car, then I'm gonna do taping off of different areas, the headlights and some of the trim pieces and whatnot, but I plan on polishing pretty much the entire exterior. Um, I did a test spot this morning right here. Definitely gonna need to two-step, so I'll have compounding, hand polishing. Uh, there's a decent amount of swirls on here from the previous owner. Uh, thankfully, I didn't see any scratches that were too deep that I couldn't get out so far, so I'm pretty optimistic about that. But after I tape it off, I'll do a 50-50 and show you the uh, compounds and pads that I'm using and uh, the lighting that I'm using because the lights in here aren't that great. So I've got some uh, warmer, I think we have warmer lights and the uh, that are more of a yellow uh, sun type like color. So I'll show you how I can see the swirls and scratches with that as well. And if I can get through the compounding today, start the polishing as well. And we'll do that before we move on to the Adams uh, graphene ceramic coating that I'll be putting on here. So uh, first I'll show you the paint touch up here and then uh, do the uh, wiping down the car with the paint prep. All right, so the entire car has been wiped down now. Uh, I got a couple different kinds of tape here. So I've got some 3M automotive tape, some 3M precision tape. I'm not really super picky about the tape I've used so far. Um, these both have worked just fine for me. Uh, I'm gonna use this bigger stuff to do, cover up like big chunk of the headlights. I'll use some of the smaller stuff to do um, around the window um, trim. And uh, I think that's really all I'm going to tape off right now because I am going to be polishing everything I've got my uh, nano polisher as well to get a whole lot of these tight little edges. So I'm not going to be uh, doing a whole lot of taping off. I think I'll do the emblems of, as well in the front and the rear and uh, maybe this uh, side vent here, but uh, not a whole lot.
All right, so I also took the uh, top off here to put a line of tape uh, on this ridge here and uh, make it easier for me to get to the uh, roof section here because I didn't want to have to reach over the cars so much. Thankfully, now all I have to do is uh, this top area here for uncomfortable reaching. But I uh, got the window seals taped off, as you saw, the uh, one emblem on the back. I'm not going to do the Corvette logo here or wording. Um, I'm going to come back with the roof heads, probably get up closer with that. Or my uh, nano polisher, even smaller than the roof heads. Uh, taped off this window edge, this little ridge. Um, this kind of flexes a little bit and this sticks out. So when I'm polishing, I want this uh, ridge to be safe. I don't want to be grinding up against that. And then uh, of course got the headlights and the front logo. And yeah, so now I'll do a little demo here. Got a line down, I'll show you what I'm dealing with and uh, do a 50-50.